Tonight, the feds sound the alarm on sextortion cases online. That's where people use compromising photos of others for extortion. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. For one woman, there's no end to the harassment. We first talked with Lexi last year as law enforcement tried to track the guy down. And tonight, she says the creep is still putting her face on sexual images. Okay, TV News Watch Evans' Abby Peterson is here with her frustration and today's warning from the Omaha FBI. Abby? Lexi Elsie tells me this has been going on almost a year now, starting last March. But to this day, she still hears from the man every once in a few weeks, and he won't stop asking her for nude photos. People like me can't go to jail. Only you can stop this. Hope you know you're never going to get me. Those are just a sliver of the messages Lexi Elsie says she gets multiple times a month, starting in March of last year, after an unknown man found a picture taken of Lexi in college, one she says she doesn't even remember. Some low quality photo of me like bare chested. Elsie says the man has asked for more nude photos of her. She refuses, so he's resorted to photoshopping pictures of her on inappropriate images and posting them online. She says blocking him doesn't work. He messages from a different account under a fake name, and we know now he uses a VPN so you can't track his IP address. She says it's gone as far as photoshopping a picture of her two-year-old niece from Facebook, making it look like child porn. It says like, this is never going to stop. I'm going to ruin your life. And she's not the only one. On Thursday, Omaha FBI agents addressed an increase in sextortion cases. They're seeing thousands nationwide, many of them here in the metro, like Elsie's. This is happening here in Nebraska, our office uh, within the division. We uh, receive on average one to two um, referrals per week. Agents say parents should look for changing behaviors in their children, like them becoming withdrawn, argumentative, or even changing passwords on electronic devices. We encourage you to be present and engaged whenever your child, especially your young children, are engaged online, especially when they're communicating online. Although she's not sure where her case stands, Elsie says she's not going to be quiet. I want to raise hell so that people will take it seriously. Advocates point out two other red flags for you to watch for. Online predators ask for an image within an average of 10 minutes of contact, and they'll ask to meet the person in less than an hour. Back to you. All right, Abby, thanks. Now, there are efforts on the state level to stop sextortion and cases of online grooming. Well, state Senator Mike McDonald is sponsoring two bills. They would criminalize online efforts to entice a child under 16 or an adult with disabilities either for sexual pleasure or financial exploitation. The Judiciary Committee still needs to investigate and discuss both proposals.